Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this video I am going to review all of your apps you submitted made using MIT App Inventor. So this is this video is for the month of January 2022 and if you haven't submitted your apps you can submit using the link in the description below. This time I got more than 50 responses so that's why I am going to review few of them in this video and I'll review the rest next month for the next review video. So make sure you watch till the end of this video to find out whether your app has been reviewed. If not, don't worry and as it will be reviewed next month. So first we have Internet Speak app. This app is similar to a web browser but it is voice controlled. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to click on the speak button. Go to google.com. Now you can see that it went to google.com. Now I'm going to click on speak again and tell go to youtube.com. Go to youtube.com. Now you can see that it went to youtube.com. Now I'm going to go back to Google. So I'll click on speak and tell back. Back. Now I'm going to tell forward. Forward. Now you can see it again went to YouTube and I'm, now I'm going to refresh the page. Refresh. And now you can see it refreshes the page. So this is a great app and as you can see the speech recognizer is being used to get what is what the user is speaking and to go back forward and go to a particular website and also refresh or reload. So if you want to create this app, I have created a tutorial on it. So the link for it is in the description below. So make sure you watch that. Next we have an accelerometer drawing app which uses the accelerometer sensor. So first I'm going to draw over the screen like this. And as you can see it is working. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake the mobile. Now when I shake the mobile you can see that the drawing is erased or the canvas is cleared. So I'll draw again and shake the mobile and now you can see that it went. So this uses the accelerometer sensor. Now let us look at the blocks and the designer. So as you can see in the designer you have the canvas using which you can draw the canvas component which is available over here in drawing and animation. You also have the accelerometer sensor which will find whether the mobile is shaking or not. Next now let us look at the blocks and over here as you can see when the canvas is dragged to draw a line this block is used and then as you can see in this block when accelerometer sensor one dot shaking which means that the mobile is being shaked the canvas is being cleared which means all the drawing is being erased. So this is how the app works and it is a good app. Next we have an app which is about my channel. So as you can see this is my channel and it also shows the number of subscribers and also there are two buttons. So let us test the app first. So here you can see the app. So I'm going to click on the channel button over here. Now you can see that it went to the channel page and as you can see the videos and everything is over here. So make sure you click on the subscribe button right now if you haven't subscribed. Next I'm going to click on about. And you can see that it went to the about page. I'll click on feedback and you can see that it went to the feedback Google form which the link is given in the about section of my channel. Now I'm going to click on back. Now you can see that it went to the screen. I'll click on submit an app and now you can see that it went to the Google form where you can submit your apps and I'll review. Now let us look at the designer and the blocks of this app. So as you can see in the designer there's a vertical arrangement in which there's a label which shows the subscribers and then there is also an image which shows the profile picture. Next there are two buttons which is first one is the channel and second one is submit an app. And now let us look at the blocks and when button 1 which is the channel button is clicked it goes to another screen called screen 2 and when button 2 which is the submit an app button is clicked it goes to screen T. So I'll go to screen 2 like this and over here as you can see there's a web viewer and then in a horizontal arrangement there are three buttons about back and then feedback and each of these buttons goes to a link so as you can see now it goes to 
this URL which is the channel page this is the channel about section and this is the channel page and this is the feedback Google form for which it goes so when the back button is clicked it goes again to screen 1 which is this screen and for the second button it is the same thing it uses the web viewer I'll go to screen T 3 now and you can see it uses the web viewer and the back button and in this web viewer it it again goes to the Google form where you can submit these apps so that I can review them like this video so overall it is a great app and one suggestion is if you use more than if you if you are using many screens then it might take up the mobile's memory so you can you can put everything in one screen by using vertical arrangements and you can hide and show them for example you can make them visible or invisible so that you don't use many screens because if you use many of them it will affect the memory of the mobile but overall it's a great app next we have a flap flappy copter app so i'll click i'll tap on this and now make sure you don't hit the stick like that and now you can see that we got one point like that so it is a great game and as you can see this is the designer so in the canvas as you can see there are different sprites using which the game is being done and there are also clocks to do the delay or the timer and there's also a database which using which the best score is being stored and these are the different sounds the sound effects which are uploaded like this these are the sound files and as you can see there are lots of blocks so I'll, re I'll review all of them later and I'm going to make a separate video I'll try to make a separate video for the flappy copter app here as you can see it has lots of blocks next we have a tic-tac-toe game so let me show you how this works I'm just going to click on this box and you can see now it is O's turn so this is a multiplayer game so I'll click on this box for O now X over here I'll put O over here and now I'm going to put X over here and now you can see that it shows X has won the game the same way you can reset it right like this and you can also use your voice to select the box so for example if you want box number one to be selected I'll click on this microphone icon and tell one one now you can see that in the first box the X is being the X is there so now it is O star I'm going to put the O in the last box which is the ninth one nine so as you can see it went to the ninth box so this is a great app and the best thing over here is it is also voice enabled so here you can see the designer and there are two screens so the first one is like a splash screen and then in the second screen you can see the real real tic, tic tac toe the ui of it so there are nine buttons and then there are also many arrangements so i'm going to change this to be tablet size so that you can see a bigger view of it like that and now in the blocks i'll go to the block section you can see there are many blocks and over here there are also procedures using which the procedures are being called and here you can see that these are the procedures and when a particular button is clicked these buttons are linked over here in this procedure so as you can see when this block these blocks are very big to explain so I'll make a separate video for tic-tac-toe game 2 in my channel so make sure you watch that after it is being published next we have a mail app but I'll not be able to review this because the AIA file is not being submitted only the APK file is being submitted so let me show you how to submit the AIA file so that you can submit the same app but the AIA file next time for the next review to submit the AIA file first open your project and then over here go to projects and now click on export selected project dot AIA to my computer this will generate an AIA file which you can upload to the Google form instead of the APK file so for the APK file you can go to build and Android app APK but I want the AIA file to review the app 
Next we have a video player app. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on grow like that and I'll click on one of the video and click on play. Now you can see that the particular video is being played over here. So I'm going to make this full screen by clicking on show full screen and you can, now you can see that the video is full screen and I can also skip through it using the timeline below. Now I'll go back and the same way you can see that there are three videos for which I can just and I'll shrink this one like that and I'm going to stop it stop playing that now I'll go to the second video and start playing that and you can see that it is coming over here and now I'll make it show full screen and you can see that the second video is coming now for the third video I'll click on grow and you can play it again it, it is the same and now you can just forward the video if you want also so this is a good app too. Now let us look at the designer and the block section. So in the designer you can see that in a vertical arrangement there are many buttons for grow, full screen and then there is also a video player using which you can play a video. And as you can see there is a source which is being selected over here. The source is the, video, the video file which needs to be played in the video player. The same way there are three video players like that and you can see that the videos are being uploaded here and given in the source and you can also adjust the volume for the video player over here now in the block section you can see that there are many blocks and over here when the resize is clicked you can see there's a procedure called called resize video player and the it the video player is being selected and it is also being zoomed the same way you can see when full screen dot click you can see set video player dot full screen to be true which means that the video player will go to full screen the same way it is for the three video players the other three and then over here you can see this is the resize video player so this is a procedure which is being called here and using that you can see that the components width and height is being changed to resize it like that next we have fake voice app so this uses text to speech but you can change the pitch and the rate or the speed of the voice so i'm going to click on the text box and i'll type hello three times like that now you can see that i'll click on hear the words and read back hello, hello, hello. you can see that it is saying hello hello hello, 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 hello. now you can change the pitch of it so I'll, i'm going to reduce the pitch like that and now I'll increase the pitch. Hello, hello, hello. You can see the difference in voice. Now I'm going to decrease the rate. Hello, hello, hello. You can see that the speed is being decreased and I'll increase the rate also. Hello, hello, hello. Now you can see that the speed is fast. Now let us look at the blocks and the designer for this app. So now in the designer as you can see these are the buttons and this is a text box and this is a slider which is used to select the pitch and the rate now let's go to the block section here you can see that when the pitch slider is changed it is set to the thumb position and the same for the speech rate which is the speed and then we are going to use the text to speech to speak the message as this is a very great idea i'm going to do a separate video on this Next we have another drawing app so I'll click on small and I'm going to start painting so I'll go to I'm going to click on red color and I'll paint like that and now as you can see I'm able to paint like that I'll make it bigger like that and there's also a medium size I'm going to clear the drawing you can also use voice to draw the circle or do anything you want by clicking on this button now let us look at the designer in the blocks so this is a great app too and you can see in the designer there are three buttons big small and medium so one suggestion is instead of you can rename these buttons from button 2 to be big button small button like that so that you'll be clear in the block section and it will not be con confusing to find which button is which one so for example i don't know what button 2 is in the block section whether it is big or small or medium or clear drawing so you can do it by clicking on rename button now you can see there's a canvas also and you can see that these are the color buttons so this each button is for every color 
and now in the block section you can see that when button 2 which is the big button is clicked it the thickness of the brush or the line is increased so as you can see set canvas one dot line width to be 20 next this is the small button and this is the medium button the same way this is to change the colors as you can see paint color and these are the other buttons to change the colors now this is to draw the line whenever it is dragged and this is the speech recognizer which i told you over here you can see when you say draw circle it will draw a circle using the canvas and it is the same for draw the text so if you want to create something similar to this i created a board whiteboard tutorial in my channel so in that you can also insert text you can do the same thing like big small and medium all that and you can also change the different colors so make sure you watch the tutorial the link is in the description below next we have a translator app so i'm going to enter text so as you can see this uh, this app can convert it can translate to different languages different indian languages now i'm going to enter text like hello in english and i'm going to click on this button english to canada you can see that in this text box the text is being changed to the translation in canada and the same way you can change it to different languages like this and i think there are nine languages over here Now let us look at the designer and the blocks for this app. So as you can see in the designer there are two text boxes. One is where you will type the text and one is where it is being translated. And you can see that there are different buttons for each of the languages. And there's also a button for read translation which will use text to speech to read the translation. Now in the blocks section you can see that now let's see which component is used here. The Yandex translate component is used to translate to different languages and as you can see in the blocks it's been translated as you can see here you'll enter the language which to be translated and then the text to be translated so for example en means english and the same way for the other languages so if you want to create an app which is similar to this using which you can translate to any language i created a tutorial for that it's in the description below Next we have a Talking Tom app. So I'm going to click on Talking Tom from friend this button and I'm going to tell something. Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran. Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran. Now you can see that it is repeating me, the Talking Tom. So this is a great app too. Now let us look at the designer and the blocks. So this in the designer you can see the web viewer and over here the home URL is the GIF file, the Talking Tom image or the GIF. And then we have a button, which is this button. And we have text to speech so that it can repeat and speech recognizer so that it can get the text. We also have a clock component to put an interval or delay in between. Now you can see that after speaking, the clock component is being used. Over here, first when the button one is clicked, we are getting the text from the speech recognizer and after we get it we are first setting the url to be the image or the gif file the animated gif and then using text to speech we are, we are going to speak the message whatever the user is spoken the same way over here in the timer we are going to set the image so if you want to create a talking tom app in just one minute i created a short tutorial for creating talking tom app the link is in the description below thanks for watching the video make sure to like and subscribe and if you your app is not being reviewed in this video i'll definitely do it next month in my next review video as i said before there are lots of responses so that's why i could do only a few this time